Hello, class, and welcome to White Caliber. Uh, I, as am always, your one of your various players, Jared. And today we're playing Star Wars Force on Destiny. Um, and our GM is, you know, the Smug Smuggles. That's right. I am the Smug. Smugarino. TV slash caffeinated smug. Be sure to follow. That guy. That guy. Yes, if you watch when we play the game, you can watch us uh, do this live. And Whoa, wait a minute. We Are we being recorded? <laughs> yeah, put your pants yes. on. Yes. Oh, well, my bad. Yeah, you can watch us live, and you can you can uh, enjoy all the parts that uh, that ARP uh, inevitably cuts. <laughs> um, when, Relentless smug, when, smug, when Smug says something that we really shouldn't be posting online. <laughs> I, I never do that. <laughs> no, never, 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 never. Uh, and of course, we, we, you know, we have uh, we have the Y caliber himself, Matt number one. Oh, right, many just, cause there's lots of mats. Just, just one of the mats. No need for labels here in the mat in the mat catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> the, this confluence of mats. The matriarchy. And, Are you guys like the Borg? Uh, Kind of, and we have Matt. We have Matt Prinny uh, as why. <laughs> Hello. Um, and of course, you know we have Matt Mike playing Rail Cage. Hey. Uh, and Matt D Davis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. As McGruff, the uh, the crime dog, the puggler. Um, and when last we left off, we were up uh, Shit Creek with that paddle. Um. We're running away from spear-throwing native people who are hunting us because they're being manipulated by the dark side or something. Bosmo is currently huddled behind a thing, meditating in the hopes of, you know, figuring out some way with uh, his limited knowledge of the Force to to try and help these guys, uh, while we are planning to shoot them with, with stun, stun, with weapons. stun bolts, stun, yeah, stun, stun, yeah, not not like really shoot them, but like you know. Knock him out. Wow. And uh, and I have knocked over this thing with my super sweet lightsaber to create, you know, some more chest high walls. Love chest high walls. Love that? them chest high walls. Hmm. Uh, there's some weird sound. Uh, anyway, um, so there's like probably a, you know, a slasher film killer in my room or something. But um, and and Wyatt's now hiding behind that as well. Um, yeah. So, uh, I'm just eating some caramel. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll pass it back. That's good. Me. How good is the caramel? Be extremely. All right, now tell you me how those... you spell caramel. What? C-A-R-A-M-E-L. That's right. Now, too many people around me say caramel. Yeah, that's an acceptable pronunciation. Gets of, my goat every time, I swear. Uh, I guess. Carmel. How do you feel about aluminium? Aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you mean al aluminium. Apparently, I also say cyan as cyan, hmm. which I think was just me flubbing cyan. a word, to be honest. I think you mean cyan. Cyan. <laughs> Anyway, mm -hmm. right. So you guys had about a five-minute head start on the hunters, and you chose to use it in an attempt to funnel the incoming hunters. Land, no doubt, whipped out his trusty his trusty lightsaber and just ripped it into that pillar that he was hiding behind, and then uh, toppled it over onto to some stairs. That's right, chest high wall, which uh, Wyatt then moved up to, and probably high five Lane. Is that correct? Absolutely. Not too hard though. They've heard the legends. But, yes, that's true. That's right. The legend that lightsaber users have really weak hands. Oh, well, that's just not fair. Well, it is what it is. Is it mean? <laughs> All right, so about... We, we do. We, 
we, we got one. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, I think you guys got one from the um, the not corpse that yeah, you guys we did not jettison. Bosmo. Did you give it to Bosmo? I think we gave it to Bosmo. Right. The grenade? Probably I don't have a grenade. Yeah. We got a stun grenade when we. All right. Who's got the stun grenade then? Somebody has a stun grenade. Not me. McGruff, you've got. How's your range light? Uh, pretty good. He's, pretty good. He's the jerk with the four agility. I feel like he's okay. a meta gaming guy. So I feel McGruff's like this is meta gaming. <laughs> this is, we, we were still five minutes, part of our five minute plan here. Wait, of course, what, then McGruff. You guys... Then McGruff you get a throws role a grenade. Play, guys. Come on. <laughs> Does he fetch it himself? <laughs> McGruff, how's your throwing arm? Pretty good. Pretty, it's, it's pretty good. My throwing arm is pretty good. Fine. I love to throw. The yeah, have Monk's really good with the grenades. He's got a grenade launcher back at the house. Yeah, he's going to chase that after. <laughs> it's going to be really hard <laughs> to restrain myself. Fetch, from go. Doing so. I right. can play fetch with myself. Gosh, I'm basically barf from Spaceballs, aren't I? <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> say anything. That's right. Up in space, there's an Inquisitor right now going, I need you to comb the snow. <laughs> They're like, there is no snow, sir. But look, there's white spots all over. Cocaine. Why, why they got to be white? Well, it's visibly white. I mean, just like That's the right. That's right. All right, so... You like guys spider set webs up in the trees. And Caterpillar totally, colonies. I totally just noticed that this rock here looks like Jar Jar. <gasps> Jar Jar Sith right. Lord confirmed. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I don't think that rock looks like Jar Jar. So, looks more like are. Pepe upside down. So there you Sitting guys there. are. Uh huh. And. You hear the hooting, the hollering. that no doubt stopped to confer with their mistresses who filled them in on, uh, on that roll cage guy that was threatening the hell out of them with his flappy arms. <laughs> now they're even more pissed off. They are. There's a definite crescendo of the hooting and hollering. Little did rail like cage know at this point. that that was actually the uh, that's actually the how they, you know, proposition mates in this culture. <laughs> and so he's offended everyone. The hunters will let you guys know shortly, no doubt. So it draws ever closer. You guys have chosen to bunker down and await your fate. I mean, you probably could have kept running, but whatever. That just makes us tired and then die. It's true. Mm -hmm. you definitely be tired. And then they come into view. There's four of them. Armed with disruptor rifles. Damn it. <laughs> Not again. Oh, disruptor spears. That would be pretty <laughs> funny. Uh, I just had a curiosity. You guys can't see any bars on them, right? No. Can't I not. cannot see their right, bars. Because P.S., you guys are no longer going to be seeing bars. <laughs> yes, I'm going to start cheating. Smug 2016. <laughs> It's for the role play, okay? No, it's fine. We're not going to be seeing any bars. What are we going to do about Wyatt's alcohol problem? Oh. <laughs> oh. He would just oh. start drinking the ship dry. He's just drinking right. his feelings. We oh. ran out of gasoline. He huffed it all. <laughs> it's not even how ships are powered. So there's four, four approaching matter. along the track. They're in, they, they don't appear to have spears, by the way. And then there's Does a they rustling in the trees. Oh, damn. <gasps> what could it be? Two more guys. Two oh. more guys making their way through the trees. Do they have spears? I don't know. They're in the trees. You probably can't tell yet. I told are you they any of them fly. armed. Are any <laughs> of them armed? Um, I guess you'll find out momentarily. Yes, they have something in their hands. Uh, well, that's good enough for heavy, real, probably. Um, heavy disruptor rifles. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Zoidberg. No, they don't. They don't. <laughs> but they do have something in their hands. Only light disruptor seems... rifles. No, 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 no. It looks. <laughs> it looks like they're holding. They're holding some kind of primitive weapon. <laughs> 
hard okay. to tell just yet. All right, so hunters clearly with the influence of the dark side over over their minds are probably not going to be receptive to any kind of negotiations at this point. And you guys have hunkered down and you're ready for them. So I guess we'll probably go ahead and start with the old the old initiative thing. Well, do we get to surprise them? Uh, you actually will be surprising them since you're all you're all hiding. Excellent. I think is going to give you guys a bonus. Unless you uh, you have the actual rolling there, Steve. No, I, I no. No. Well then. Yeah, how does surprise work in this game? That's a very good point. It's a good question. What I will probably do. Uh, if I can do this, Steve's really quickly. already thumbing through the book. Yeah, I am actually. <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear it. No, Steve. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me see. There actually is a suggested order based on whether you guys get to jump on the hunters or vice versa, which we could probably go with. I just need to see if there's a way for me to order the uh, the initiative. Yeah, you just drag and drop. Yeah, that's where you arrange everybody. Yeah, if you want to. Though we mm-hmm. probably should roll. Eh, if it's a set initiative with you guys getting uh, a favorable advantage. Mm, that's true. If you're just going to give us like all turns before they get to go, yeah. Yeah. It's not quite that bad, but... Well, we should probably still roll anyway, because it's probably going to be more than one turn. Do they not have surprise rounds in this? They do not. Uh, I'm looking there, I don't see anything about surprise at all. Okay. What are we doing? Rolling cool for initiative? It'll be vigilance. Oh no, it would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think you can do both. Yep, you guys have got the jump, so feel free to roll your cools off your initiative in the sheet. It's a cool roll for me. Really? Mm, yes, really. No, I mean, really? On mine. No, I didn't. <laughs> I rolled a fucking triumph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to take off the threat. That's great. We'll just. So you got three. I, I, yeah, my, me too. But I got yeah. three. So. Do we have difficulty rolls for initiative? No, no, no. No, we just, we're just dumb. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're the only ones who rolled it right. All right, that's cool. Oh yeah, I did High five. It Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we're great at rolling. We should be kings of all dice. Whatever, Come on. man. I got a triumph, which doesn't matter in initiative rolls. You can learn something important about how fast oh, you're going. Some of you, some of you rolled a skill. You you should go to initiative and. Oh no! You rolled wrong. What? No. Oh no! Sorry, maybe I can just add. Yeah, you can. Right-click them and then click add turn. We're just creating more work for Smug on purpose. <laughs> oh okay. It's Why called, do you hate me? It's called harrying your target, Jared. Helping turn him into a better GM. To be fair, it's not our fault that that's a dumb mechanic. Wow. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I guess it's what, the number the of successes. Having it hidden. It's not hidden. It's totally it's hidden. hidden. It's yeah, a skill that you're rolling, and suddenly it's over in combat. Come on. So well, that's because the roll. yeah the modifier or the. Look, I you, lost there the you go. You you get one star instead of four. Uh, I need to add one more. Oh, no. oh, of course it doesn't know how to do that, does it? God damn it. What's that? Right. Trying to add the one two from a graph. One two, buckle my shoe. All right, let me one, just two, add all my. Yeah, the old one two. That's right. Let me add all my 
PCs or NPCs rather. Yeah, it's actually pretty close to how the book has it. So pretty much works out. Nice. Okay. So, given how combat works, of course, it alternates between the PCs and the NPCs, and you guys get to sort out between yourselves how you want to go about business. Should I just spring it? Since I got yes. the big gun? Spring it. Spring far it, away. Right? Far away. Are they? What's their distance? Um, that... From the middle of the ruins to the edge ish would be uh, medium. No, no. Did we get a wait for them yet? You may have to wait for them to get a but little closer. But how far closer. can you throw a grenade? Uh, good question. I think that's still only short, though. Is it? Maybe? We're prepared. We know what we're doing. Miss, you're prepared. Uh, yeah, short range. Indeed. So we have to wait for him to get closer. Yeah. I just want to just run out of cover. <laughs> <laughs> just clutching it over your head. Screaming and swinging a baguette. All right, so I guess we pass our first three turns. Oh, I mean, you could have aimed or something. Yeah, there. Uh, uh, and I've got to start yeah. my meditating. So can we take aim action? Oh, that's true. You yeah, can take yeah. aim action, kids. Yeah, so maybe Bosmo takes first one, starting his thingy. Yeah. So what, do you, what do you want me to do for that? Lore, we were saying. Um. We probably should have rolled that before we started, but um, yeah, you're going to be rolling your Jedi lore, so knowledge, Jedi, I guess. I've only got just lore. That's fine. So you're, you're still racking your brain for something that may be useful amidst the Force. Now, are you are you trying to touch the Force, or are you just trying to rack your brain to start? What are you trying to do? Uh, first off, I just need to think if there's anything I know, anything I remember, that could help with the situation. Like, how does one deal with a dark side clouding someone's mind? Because Bosman right. may or may not know. Probably. Yeah, which which he, he may or may not. So let's go ahead and uh, roll your knowledge then against two purple for me. All right. Which I know is your unlucky number. They're all in my unlucky numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Not always. That's true. That's I mostly. made I made a good initiative roll and I made a good vigilance roll. That one was a wash, but it's all right. I got an advantage. I could carry forward maybe. Um. Hmm. Let's see. An advantage in this situation when you're attempting to to rack your brain. I mean, I guess if it were pure pure combat, you could probably lean towards that kind of thing if you wanted. Or if you want, I can come up with another outcome for you. Yeah, go for it. It's probably house rolling at this point, but that's fine. Do what you feel. I mean, it's GM. Yeah, I mean, it's a little... A little cinematic at this point, what he's trying to do. So Bosmo's there, floating. No doubt got his legs crossed under him. No doubt got his hands poised over his uh, over his stubby little knees. The classic meditation pose. He's thinking back to the time he spent as a Padawan. Before it all turns so dark, so bleak. And then in turn, thinking of the time he spent with the Jedi Scholar and the various scrolls she's uncovered, the various 
teachings that she she so eagerly showed Bosmo in her enthusiasm. And it doesn't nothing's coming to mind, unfortunately. Bosmo's racking his brain. Yet amidst it all, he feels something something almost tugging him towards what might be just his feeling of of right as opposed to left. But this uh this nebulous feeling, perhaps something calling to him, some facet of the force that resides within him. <laughs> and then we got Sue. That's right. Look, I'm I'm acapellaing it. It's he was totally I loved it. it. I loved it. Slightly off key. It's fine. I do. It really yeah, set the mood. The alternative is that I load the music into fucking roll twenty, and then we get destroyed on <laughs> YouTube. Super soon. <laughs> They even come over to Twitch. <laughs> That's right. Just I probably depends. would get fucking because they they do that too. The fucking YouTube bots are all over Twitch. I know. They're spiders. That's right. But he doesn't have the answer just yet. However, something towards something greater that that nebulous force feeling is luring him on. Okay. I'm going to go further down that path next time. It's my turn. Yes. Indeed. So that's your uh, that's your action. I don't know if you want to do any kind of maneuver. No, i got to stay back here. For the greater good. All right. All right, then we'll move along to the next PC action. Who wants the second slot? I'll take it, and but I'm only going to do with it is just uh, aim twice. <laughs> you fucker. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bastard. I know what's going to happen here, and I don't like it. <laughs> All right. What? All right, so so Wyatt, Wyatt slowly closes one eye, and then he slowly closes the other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling the force, too. Indeed. Now, um... That's right. Your your action becomes a second maneuver. Mm-hmm. Well, aren't you special? <laughs> All right, we'll move right along then. Who wants what the third the... slot? Was that a bird? <laughs> Sorry, that was the baby. He's, <laughs> he's you... laughing at me. Is your baby a bird? <laughs> Adorable, that baby bird. Uh, that reminds me that I watched a video earlier in the week where apparently Lisa Sorestone vomits into her baby's mouth. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm with that. Gross. So, McGrath, you want to take the next turn? Uh, yeah. Uh, with the stun grenade in hand, I'll follow the smuggler's lead, and uh, I will also take two him actions. Even, so, yeah. the, when we actually attack, it's going to either be amazing or just really yeah. bad. It's going to be funny. <laughs> There'll be no advantages. successes. Oh. All right, we'll roll so, like six advantages. All the dice are just blank. <laughs> Son of a bitch! And that, that, that's when it's game over. It's like, we're doing Mistborn next week, Smug. <laughs> we're just going to play a fucking D20 game, and it's going to be fun. <laughs> And Ash, Ash actually, um, since we were at PAX South, Ash did an hour of a, uh, a Pathfinder game, which she said was pretty fun. Nice. At a girl, Ash. It was the, all, the thing is it was like all a, pre-gen. Yeah, like a, like a really simulationist D20 game can be really fun if that's what you're in the mood for at the time. Yeah. Like, I like that kind of crunch to it. But I yeah, you're, you're, no you're more on the Shadowrun spectrum. <laughs> Like, pretty much every panel I went to about tabletop, they were like, you know, Shadowrun's got a lot of crunch. If you like crunch, mm-hmm. go play Shadowrun. It does. It has a lot it of crunch. It really does. It's super it is, crunchy. It's super crunchy. It's like a chocolate milkshake. Oh, they just man. put out the rigor book. <gasps> Did I just realize no really one, did. none of the viewers can see the turn order. <laughs> so next up is... Uh... I got to move it, don't I? All right, so McRuff leans up against... That big old rock, and he too closes one of his big, beady, weird eyes. Oh. 
Oh, he's, he, he closes he sees the, one that's the flame. Looking. He closes and the one that's looking kind of off to the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> the one that was sewn oh. back in. But yes, he sees the flame, and then he sees the void. Oh man, am I channeling now? <laughs> you are, buddy. Oh no! Secret, uh, secret plot. You're all force users. Uh, <laughs> mixing <laughs> alert. Apparently, we, apparently, we, we're all, uh, apparently, we're actually all channelers, not force users. Do it's dogs right. feel the taint? <laughs> <laughs> you dogs feel my taint if you all want, All over buddy. the taint. All right, so. As uh, most of our heroes lie in wait, a lone hunter, perhaps their leader, perhaps their vanguard, perhaps the unlucky saw that gets <laughs> the guy that happened before. to roll good. Yeah. The guy wearing the red shirt walks forward. Yeah, the guy, <laughs> the guy wearing the red shirt works, uh, uh, walks up. Now, all you guys are hiding, I'm guessing. He's got body paint, and that's just a target on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> this means strength in our culture. <laughs> All right, so well, the hunters a have a pretty good idea that you guys are in the ruins for reasons unknown. Plus, that uh, those rocks weren't there earlier. But anyway, so this guy up the top here will uh, creeps forward. He's actually going to go into cover over there. They're using our own tricks against us. They're, They're learning. learning. They're communicating in a primitive language amongst themselves. There's some grunting. There's some hooting. It may be English, which nobody knows. You all speak basic. Or it may just be the interior of a Hooters bar. Yeah, we don't know English. What's an ang? That's right. What is ang? Ah, uh, so those guys, he moves up to there. I'm just checking to see if I want to do something else. Guess not really using any kind of action. So he's actually going to brace up and he's going to aim down what appears to be a slug thrower. I hate <gasps> slugs. That's right. Quick, get out just your like salt. like that XCOM 2 mod that's going to be coming out that will fire oh, pigeons at people. Are the best. Not even kidding. They they revealed that at the panel. It would be very easy for someone to mod that. All right, we move down the order. Another PC is up. Did he move into short range? Um, from there is that going to be short range? Short range for who? For uh, Wyatt? I'd say he's in short range for McRuff and Wyatt. He's probably still in medium for... Definitely in medium for Roll and uh, Lan, and he'd be in long range for Bosmo. I'm going to take uh, the next turn. I'm going to take two aim actions. Feeling the force flow through me. <laughs> you, you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> You know, pull it's just gonna, it's we're like, just gonna all roll, just just nothing on every die, just zero, blank face, blank face. Blank face <laughs> yeah, blank. you guys have built it up so much. It's gonna be amazing. All right, so land, and then we find out the we were stormtroopers all along. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the real heroes. All right, we got another PC elf. It's gonna be the last PC action. I guess that's me. That that's would be you. correct, sir. Always coming last. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh Rail will advance. Is this is there cover here or is this just wide open? Um that was gonna be partial cover at best. It's like knee high. Okay, I'll go for partial cover then. He'll he'll kneel like behind. <laughs> he walks bro. where yeah. they see him. <laughs> yeah, but he's yeah, just just so you know, you are walking into that's, clear view, and then well, that, oh, well, that's down. why I asked that question. <laughs> no take backs. <laughs> he's, uh, he's just wriggling along on his belly. <laughs> this isn't chess. <laughs> Snakes uh, don't belong in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll just uncomfortably squeeze between Wyatt and Land then. You're just gonna go skiing, or comfortably. Oh. 
I feel like a third wheel here now. He's just really close to Wyatt, kind of breathing on his neck. <laughs> hey, it's like when we were down in the mines together. Oh. And uh, just to uh, jump on the bandwagon, I'll also take an aim action. I like that you guys have bunched up together. I don't. I really <laughs> like that you guys have bunched up together. Then one of the natives pulls out his like thermal detonator. They've got slug throwers. They might have like regular grenades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they have, don't know like, what a fire setting is. Yeah, they've got They're hunters, grenades. though. Why would they have frag grenades? You don't hunt with grenades. <laughs> you do in America. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I saw that in Crocodile Dundee. All right. Which, he's, he, which he watches every year. That's right. Oh. <laughs> they, they play it at New Year's in Australia. <laughs> all right, so from here on out, it is all the NPCs. So I'm just going to start moving people. So the hunters continue to creep forward kind of in unison. They've slowed down their pursuit. They're kind of sweaty also. Ugh. And it's if their stench doesn't hit you, Probably the slugs from their throwers will. <laughs> That's a good joke, right? Thank you. No. <laughs> yeah, they're slimy. Yeah. All right, so this guy right here is gonna move move on up to these rocks here. They they definitely know. They've slowed down. Maybe they're just being cautious, but there's a good chance that they know what's going on. These guys over here just kind of kind of stay in the trees. One of them is literally in the tree, is moving branch to branch. Is he wearing a bright orange jumpsuit? And yeah, saying, he is Naruto. Naruto, as I <laughs> once uh, really once called him. Guy. I once I once called him Naruto and got someone really angry in chat. It's good times. Ripping that. story. So those guys have all kind of braced up. They're all, they've got their slug throwers in hand. They're waiting for something to happen. The other two are the guinea pigs who make their way around the rock. Or the rock? No, that's a big ass hole. There's a hole in the ground, yeah. It sure yeah, is. So they make their way up and then they move up a little bit further, in fact. And that is the NPCs, because they unfortunately don't know quite know where you guys are. You sneaky fucks. They're about to. <laughs> They're probably going to learn. <laughs> All right, so, so for Bosmo, PC slot, you're cutting up Bosmo. Yeah, you still want that top slot? Bosmo. Maybe you had a baby. Uh, Sorry, I've got the baby. What's up? What's Another up? baby? Is it my <laughs> turn? <again? laughs> they just keep showing up. Yeah, I don't know how it is. Um, all right, so, uh, I'm, f I'm feeling the force tugging on me. So, oh, yeah. You like hey, it? Does it feel good? Hey, hey, let's have some respect for the force here. Um, like, I've seen so many fan fictions. Yeah, with Force Ghost Anakin and Force Ghost Qui-Gon <laughs> Jinn. Wow. Ew. I was just <laughs> making it up, dude. Uh, it, it's the internet, Smug. It exists. That's right. You're right. Anyway, please continue. My apologies. Uh, so Bosmo is going to see where this leads and enter a, a deeper meditative state, and, and he will uh, close his eyes. <laughs> yeah, uh, Tina mentions that he enters a deep state of Kelnorim. And uh, <laughs> what? Uh, faint, faintly, the, the, the hooting and hollering turns to nerd. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, Tina. <laughs> All right. So yeah, he's he's withdrawing deeper into himself while uh, extending his senses out into the flow of the force as it binds everything together to attempt to see you know what, right. what's the root of this problem and how can it be solved? Can he? Cut through the Gordian knot with the power of his goodness. Sounds sexual. Let me see. Alright, I'm going to have you roll 
a combined check of your force rating and perception for me. Okay. Can I make a suggestion? Yes, please. <laughs> uh, no, the roll's fine. Uh, oh. I was actually just going to suggest that you maybe give him a boost die or two because he's in a you know ruined right, Jedi right. temple, perhaps. And so, yes, very true. And he is being guided by something appears to be mm. guiding him. Okay. So feel free to add on two boost die. All right. And, and you're then... going to be rolling against... God, I'm always tempted to go harsh, but you roll so fucking low, Arp. <laughs> Uh, but right, so. something I learned from my panels is that I gotta stop going easy on you guys and kill you all. That was Wait, that's that was, fair. That well, like you don't want to make it panel. too difficult because it really depends relatively on what how many dice they're gonna roll. If they only have like one dice, the positive dice that they're gonna roll, then rolling like four dice is just impossible. But if they have three dice, then four is just a challenging one. If that makes sense. I didn't really, but uh, I it, it did. <laughs> Basically, I'm really... saying the more positive dice that we roll, uh, is we we can the difficulty dice you assign to that is going to be more or less challenging. Like four or three difficulty dice, right, is going to be really hard for anyone who has only one or two dice, but just kind of challenging for three dice. And if I, we were rolling five dice, then three purple is, even if it says it's hard, it's not really going to be that hard. So you're saying I gotta go harder. I'm saying adjust to what's being rolled. <laughs> I'm hearing go harder. Uh, right, so not, I in mean, terms you of got, the you things your... that I'm rolling, I've got two of the blue yeah. boost die. One of the white die in the middle, the force die, I guess. Yep. Yep. And what else am I got? Uh, apparently, apparently, you're going to be going against four purple dice. All right. Well, what, what, what? I don't know. I guess I'm curious. What do you think? That's a fair roll, Steve. Uh, since he's rolling. Basically, two green and two blue. Uh, no, I don't think that has much of a chance for success. Oh, really? Well, you said no, it was combined blue, of my force rating and something else, you said. So it was the other thing. The, well, well the, the, the force rating is more to see if the force side of it works. Right. Yeah, the force rating doesn't contribute to success or failure. Mm -hmm. um, all right, make it three purple then. Okay. Uh, so what was the skill? Is it lore again? Uh, it's going to be your perception in this perception. case. Perception. Okay. Why did the force day not show up? Did you click off the box? I did. It, it did. Show up. did. Oh, it did. You, have, you have to roll it separately. No, it showed up. No, it, it showed up. It was yeah, there. It showed up. What the heck just... There's, oh my god. Yeah, well, you rolled roll, two, two light side... You rolled two tips. light side points and okay, two... Yeah. Well, two ignore points. that second roll that was my bad. I just didn't see the force die there. But there it is. I saw it wrong because I hadn't scrolled down far enough. Alright, let's see. I wonder if I've alerted a dark presence to my snooping. Yeah, that was pretty much what I was going to go with. So within this apparently quite hallowed ruins was no doubt once a a fixture along the path that Jedi would take in order to, to pray at the temple. Bosmo follows along that, that wisp of a presence as urging him forward deeper into the bowels of the force. But perhaps he goes too deep now. Um, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I've gone quantum force. Right. Too deep into your bowels. 
That's right. So, without a doubt, he harnesses that that sometimes elusive power. He feels it suffusing his uh, his being very nearly in this in this place. He almost feels one with the force. But that encroaching darkness, those hunters that are continuing to prowl towards Bosmo's friends and companions, his loved ones, dare I say, he can't quite seem to pierce the veil to find the answer he needs. But moreover, he feels beyond the hunters just this, this threatening miasma that is uh, across the valley itself these strands from behind the hunters strings leading towards something greater perhaps the the source of their apparent corruption <gasps> no and perhaps that is the real answer that bosmo is being presented with that the puppeteer behind these men is out of reach. Eh, such dark power. Okay. So, Bosmo is Bosmo distressed. alone. Well, the rest of us are sitting here, hunkered down behind chest high walls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's being flattened by, uh, by half of Hawk that suddenly showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Uh, that stupid planet is back. <laughs> the weird part is it's not the dark half. <laughs> it's just the sand <laughs> starts pouring on him. <laughs> it really does get everywhere. <laughs> type, 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 type. But for the moment, I mean, Bosma can certainly continue searching if he wants. Oh. Kind of, a, kind of up to him whether he feels that uh, he has time to try to find a solution. Well, we'll we'll see how things go for uh, the rest of our intrepid crew of the bicentennial Bantha. <laughs> All right. So at the moment, uh, he's going to stay put for now. Yeah. All right. All right. We're moving along then. And he's Even no the use PC in a fight anyway. open. <laughs> oh, he All could right. be. Well, you never know. He might come in at the last moment. Alright, I'll take this uh, second slot and start things off with a bang to the face, perhaps? A what to the face? A Whoa! Bang. He's face banging them. <laughs> You're face banging them? I sure am. With my blaster. Out. He just leaps oh. out, pants off. <laughs> Rail sighs wistfully. <laughs> <laughs> if only With someone could tame him. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, Wyatt crouched behind this rock that uh, Land made with his lightsaber. Uh, takes aim down his sights and just you know, draws a bead on one of the forward uh, hunters there that are coming around the bend. And uh, basically just takes a very careful, calculated shot. And let's see how it works for him. It's a short right. range, so that'd be one purple. Uh, that is correct. And don't forget and, your uh, boost die. Yeah, two boost die. die so die. Yeah, two yeah, is. plethora. Two die. Uh, and of course, I have accurate two, so this will be hilarious. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 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 All right, game, game over. Wow. <laughs> just, you know, <laughs> just pass it on down. Oh, you, can you can convert four. Oh, no, you can't. You can convert four into a success. <laughs> That's only if we don't roll one, though. Yeah. Oh, right, right. 